Peace, love, and light. Christina Ariel here um, with Healing Journey 2 of 3. So this is the second video. Now, in lieu of the first video, I was speaking of how some men are very promiscuous. Like, we got to know there is something going on when you meet someone that's highly, highly promiscuous. It's not always their birth chart. Sometimes it's also um, meeting and connecting or copulating with the wrong person. And you can pick up entities and um, basically what entities are or what they boil down to is that you can pick up spiritual parasites as well as physical parasites as well as mental parasites um and it can be exclusive to one or the other and they can all come together in a big old cesspool of um mess or petri dish every human body is a petri dish let's just be real every organic body is um infected or infested and being real with everything. Now, um, in my experience, for male or woman alike, when you have no care for yourself and you just run down through these spiritual and physical streets, just giving your energy to any and everybody you open yourself up to a world of hurt. We are just awakening now. A lot of us don't know this information or we don't believe it. You understand? So, in this day and age, you have to be uh, spiritually aware, physically aware consciously aware like you really have to know what's going on in these spiritual streets because the spirit the spiritual realm plays a large part in our life the spiritual realm is more um real for lack of a better word than the physical world or realm now just like in life, you have many different levels. Like in the 3D, we have many different levels of being. It's the same way in the spiritual realm. Everyone is created, but not everyone is created equal. That's a fallacy. That's a lie. That's made up bullshit. Now, depending on your ranking, depending on how you are or where you fit into the hierarchy of things, meaning your um, purpose, you know, what you're here for. A high ranker in a child of the most high or a child of the light is going to be protected. Like if y'all may think they're alone, but they're not. They're not alone. And they're going to be protected. They're going to get out of stuff that karmics, dark witches, dark overlords, and dark wizards do to them on a daily basis. They're going to evade that if they're tapped in. Now, if they go dark, that's a different story. Then they might fall subject to the bullshit, the bullshit and shit nanigans. So, stay prayed up. Stay grounded. Stay Keep your mental head, your consciousness, keep it delved in or, or plugged in to source. Because some of us are not here for relationships per se or the riches and the grandeur. We'll get it because that's kind of how the universe works. For those who are doing the most work and for those who are putting in work that Many people know nothing about. So many of us are working while we are so-called sleeping. So 
and things that we may do like for a city because we know of things happening on, on the undercurrent, so to speak. Because you have the light side of the world and you have the underbelly or the dark side. And I won't get too much into that. But anyways, back to promiscuous males. We were speaking of promiscuous males. A lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times for some of these men that are so promiscuous and they meet a different woman every night or every day or every week or however they do it, um, they have different schedules, not all all players are the same. We have different layers or different, <laughs> I guess, tiers to this. But it's sometimes it comes from someone who's who is in this psychic fight in regards to their sexuality because either they had an, uh, uh, an encounter when they were younger with someone of the same sex or because they were um, forcefully um, raped or, you know, brutalized by someone, you know, in their younger years. And for the women that it's happened to, and it's been the opposite sex, sometimes women um, become... Or, or get into the same sex. And sometimes women go into this place where you call yourself asexual and you don't really have sexual tendencies at all, which I think that's a little worse than the latter too, like the being promiscuous. I think when you're asexual, you're just really, really freaking confused. It's not that you um, want to be or play on the same team sometimes as it is you haven't went into the painful part of that abuse or attack that happened to you. You haven't went in there and dissected it and understood those feelings and try to um, come to grips with it, so to speak. You haven't melded that experience, those emotions from that experience. So when you become asexual, becoming asexual to me in my mindset, because this is what happened to me after um, being abused sexually as a child, I just... I didn't know what to do with it because I didn't understand um, the sexual. I was a kid. I didn't know about sex. So I didn't understand, understand, overstand what happened to me. I had no, no way to make it make sense. So I whenever people would say, well, do, are you attracted to men or women? I would say I'm not attracted to anybody. And I meant that shit because that's how I felt. I felt like I was on this cold island of no feelings as far as sexual feelings. And I felt like I liked to be, look a certain way because I was fighting hard to appear normal. So I liked to look a certain way, but I didn't like attention from the opposite sex. And I most surely didn't like attention from the same sex. So I was in this realm of asexuality where I didn't even um, confront the issue of sex because I didn't understand it at the time. So I just kind of put it, what happened to me in a box and put it deep, deep, deep in the recesses of my psyche. 
and that's why I left it. <clears throat> but um, when before we get to puberty, there's this weird thing, energetic thing that happens to us at 13. And <laughs> I won't go into it on here because um, I think it would be too much for many to handle. But it's a surge of energy. So you can either envelop that energy and learn how to um, absorb it into your being. Or you can be uh, destroyed by that energy. Or you can uh, learn to transmute that energy and, again, absorb it. So, <laughs> I'm trying not to get sidetracked here. But, yeah, it's a real thing. If you look up paranormal experiences at the age that happen around the age of 12 to 13, I think you would find some very interesting reading in case studies. But anywho, so when you're attacked as a child and you, um, someone commits a sexual act on you, uh, the sexual act of um, forcibly taking your innocence, um, it really it screws with your psyche to the umpteenth power. Because here you are strolling along, happy-go-lucky person, not probably even understanding how wicked or evil the world is. Because I had no clue. I had lived a very sheltered life. And my um, grandparents were very attentive and very wise and discerning. <laughs> so they understood a lot about what was happening in the world. So... While I was with them, I didn't, I never really had, I had occurrences of being, you know, um, molested or whatever before living with them. But after living with them, I didn't hear somehow certain things were starting to be healed. Well, I know how my grandfather was a shaman, shaman, so he worked with me very closely to get pains and the physical trauma alleviated within my psyche. But thank God for him. Thank God for him. Thank the most high for him. Thank the most high for him. Oh, I'll be right in where I would haven may be. Or who it may be for. But anywho, <clears throat> it was very hard to deal with. So in my experiences in the young men that I've been friends with or related to that um, had to deal with the sexual trauma of attack or um, rape or um, physical molestation or whatever. You feel like you're to blame, so I can only assume what I was told is they thought that the more women, society feels like the more women a man sleep, sleep with, the more manly that man is. It's certainly not true, but that's what society has made it seem as though. You got covert <laughs> undercover people pretending to be heterosexual men and they live a very, very, very different private life. But then this is how people get hurt because emotionally speaking, we've been geared and wired a certain way or we've been um, genetically engineered to think and feel a certain way when 
there's no set way on how to deal with certain things or specific things. But when you've been already uh, been hurt or harmed in such a personal way as someone attacking your body and being in your heels without your permission and break, breaking your boundaries without your permission, it sets up this distrust and it makes it very difficult to trust women or men because depending on who acted out that egregious toward you, it may um, temper you one way or another, you know, either towards male or away from men, towards female males or away from them. And sometimes these, these children, these people get into these vastly toxic relationships with either um, a female who's bisexual or a female who's um, heterosexual but very toxic. Um, like we, in, honestly speaking, we end up with narcissists at worst because it's a natural dynamic that we're used to because many of us come here from a toxic family, you know, with narcissists. So you, in essence, learn how to survive by being in that atmosphere and learning the things that we learn in those types of dynamics. And they're not easy. Because I know most men who jump in and out of bed with females who are non-committal, it's because they're in a state of flux. They're confused about who they are. And they're fighting this urge to want to delve into homosexuality. In some cases, not every man that's promiscuous is homosexual. But a lot of them are so promiscuous because they're trying to fight that urge of becoming homosexual. You know what I mean? So they overindulge in females. <laughs> but if you ever notice, they have the same M.O. They don't particularly like or love females. They just use them kind of like a um, sex doll, if you will. This is why I hate the term called dolls. If we really understood the whole doll thing, you would take every doll out of your daughter's toy chest. This is why children, after they get a certain age, they they don't like dolls. If you <laughs> it's so there's so much, so many different ways to get into that, but I'm gonna leave that alone for now. And try to stay on task but the women are just an object for these men and an object of trying to fight against something that's that it's almost like trying to overdo something so they don't crave something else it's kind of like it, when you're on this healthier eating tip right and you're trying to get away from meat right so you're trying to become vegan so you eat foods the old foods that you liked but you eat them in a different way so you create meat out of flour, uh, out of spelt flour or jackfruit or mushrooms because you're getting the meat but you're not getting the the health, the health um, issues that meat cause, if that makes sense. It's kind of the same thing for men. They're, they're wanting to get sex. So they overindulge in women because the world will look at them like, oh, you the man. You know what I'm saying? My boy, I know that's my boy. My boy got all these females. You know what I mean? So they're hiding behind this long laundry list 
of females. And it also stems from people doing energy work on them too. It's because like, let's keep it all the way real, all the way 100. Magic is nothing more than high science, okay? So whenever these wayward females play in your energy with putting magic on you, it's altering your mind. It's altering your chemistry in your body. This is why it's one of the cardinal sins of the craft. You don't do things against people's wills. At least if you're on the lighter side of things, you don't. Now, dark magic is, they do what they do. It, it might have made up a word, but anywho, they, they skate by a different set of rules. And um, that's how that goes. But sometimes when someone manipulates your energy enough, it kind of cross, it kind of crosses your wires, so to speak. So if there was ever any discretion that happened when you were younger toward the same sex, um, it may make it easier for you to succumb to that if you're trying to fight it but at the end of the day just be yourself and just be honest because it's not what you do it's how you do it so if no one's hurt and you're not hurting anyone by not telling them who you are or masking yourself to that person but if you're upfront and personal and saying, I don't want a relationship because I am <laughs> ambiguous right now. Ambiguous meaning, I don't know if I want to be a man. I don't know if I want to be a woman. I don't know if I want to just be equal opportunist, meaning I like both sexes and I bounce between woman and man, which would make me bi. So these are kind of things that people need to work out in their own head before they can ever, ever be real or honest with a lover. And for those of you who might potentially meet these people, <sighs> first, I'm so sorry, I'll apologize for them ahead of time, but you got to be discerning. You got to understand at this juncture that there are so many freaky people in this world and they get up to all kinds of freaky stuff. So if you're meeting people and your psyche is on high alert, meaning you don't feel comfortable around that person, you don't know what it is, you can't put your finger on it, but you just feel like being around this person is not necessarily the safest thing for me. Be smart. Follow that gut feeling and leave people alone. This is about you getting the best for your money, like getting the biggest bang for your buck. This is about you taking care of you. You come before everybody. Don't be afraid to ask people questions and depending on how that their answers make you feel. Act accordingly. Don't, you don't got to wait around to see evidence. You don't need proof. You know how that person makes you feel. Move accordingly. Cut them loose. It is what it is. We think too much sometimes when it comes to our safety and our mental health. Leave people alone that set you off. That don't make you feel comfortable. Leave them alone. It ain't personal. It's just healthier. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy life. Live with a purpose. Live with purpose on purpose. Spa life. Seek power daily. Or always. Because it's out here to find. Don't get caught in the sauce. Love, peace, and light. Love you dearly. Namaste.